Jesus said to them, come after me and I will make you fishers of men. Like, to be a disciple on mission is to be a fisher of men. Okay? To be a disciple of Christ is to be a, a fisher of men. The, the church on mission is a fishing boat. Okay? Like um, Cardinal Sean O'Malley of Boston says that God did not make us keepers of the aquarium. Okay? We're meant to be fishers of men. We're, we're not maintainers of the status quo. Okay? Like, the church is on offense. You know, they say the best defense is a good offense. Well, the church is in offense mode. And, and scripture says the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Okay? Um, and, and so in that gospel, our Lord supernaturalized their vocation. They, they started out fishermen, but they ended up fishers of men. From that time on, Peter's life was to have a single objective, to love Christ and to be a fisher of men. Everything else in his life was to be an instrument and a means toward that end. Okay. And ours as well. Like every vocation in the church has that dimension, to be a fisher of men. Um, like Saint, Saint Therese was a Carmelite nun, a spouse of Christ. But she said, in addition to that vocation, she said, I feel the vocation to be a soldier, a priest, an apostle, a doctor of the church, and a martyr. I desire to perform all the most heroic deeds for you, Jesus. I feel in my soul the courage of a crusader, of a soldier for Christ, and I wish to die on the field of battle in defense of the church. I feel in me the vocation to be a priest. With what love, O oh Jesus, would I bear you in my hands? When at the sound of my words you came down from heaven, with what, and with what love would I give you to souls? Like they say, Saint Therese didn't want to be a priest. She wanted to be every priest. She didn't want to be a martyr. She wanted to be every martyr in the history of the church. She, her, her words uh, explain, dreaming of the tortures of which Christians are to share in the time of the Antichrist, I feel my heart thrill, and I would like these tortures kept for me. If I wanted to write all my desires, I would have to take your book of life, where the deeds of your saints are recorded. All these I would like to accomplish for you. Um, like St. Therese finally said she discovered her vocation. Her vocation was, in the heart of my mother, the church, I will be love. Okay? In the heart of my mother, the church, uh, I will be love. And that love led her to de desire and perform all the most heroic deeds of the saints throughout the history of the church. Um, um, let's see, maybe... And the, the two dimensions to uh, this, this being a fisher of men is first to encounter Christ and, and then to lead others to Christ. Like, like they say, when St. Clair met St. Francis, she fell in love. But she fell in love with Jesus Christ. Okay? And uh, so she met St. Francis who had already encountered Jesus Christ. Pope Francis often speaks about a culture of encounter, encouraging us to meet Christ and then encounter those Christ loves. Um, so before one can be a fisherman, we first have to have that encounter. Um, they say, God came to encounter us in the person of Jesus Christ. So too we must go and share what we have received and encounter the world. Christianity is a missionary religion. It's a constantly going out, encountering the world and proclaiming Christ. Jesus tells us that he wants us to be salt, light, and leaven. 
He means that we need to go encounter a world which is bland, dark, and flat, and to bring his healing love to it. At every Mass, we are told to go and encounter the world. At the end, at the dismissal, we're told to bring Christ to the world through our flesh, encountering people where they are and inviting them into the life of grace. One author, Heather King, says people sometimes ask her, how can you be Catholic in Los Angeles? And she says, well, would anyone ask how St. Maximilian Kolbe could be Catholic in Auschwitz? The worse the place is, the greater our thirst. The more we are called to forge our solitary little path with the church as our mother. Um, she says she has this balancing act. She, she has this vocation to lead others to Christ. And at the same time, I'm trying to find a parking spot at Walmart and affordable health care like everyone else. Um, St. Therese, she, she describes St. Therese as having managed to channel into a white hot desire to save souls, uh, her, her white hot desire to save souls in an outwardly, totally unremarkable way. Um, uh, um, St. Therese believed that by picking up a thread off the carpet, she could save souls in, in a total unre totally unremarkable way this white hot love of God was, was channeled for the salvation of souls. And, and, and so it is with us, like to be fishers of men it is to have that motive, that, that pure motive of love for God and, and do everything we, we do with that desire to, uh, to, to please God and, and to lead others to him.